Today, I'm going to be showing you how to copy your sounds from Voice Mod V2, which is the one that looks like this, and copy them into the smooth board. It's super easy, you can literally do it under three minutes, for completely for free. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your main drive, which is C. And then from here, you're going to go to users, and then your um, user folder, in my case, a s'more. It'll be whatever's down here, probably. And then click on view up here, go to show, and turn on hidden items. And this will show you some hidden folders, such as app data, which is where you need to go. And once you're in here, you click on local, and you scroll all the way down to voice mod, not the V3 one, just normal one. And if you don't see voice mod here, that means you installed it somewhere else. And you're going to need to figure out wherever that was you installed. Then once you're in here, open up voice mod and you'll see a memes folder. Uh, in here, there's going to be two types of folders. One that says icon and there'll be another one that's just a bunch of numbers. Mine's 48,000 for whatever reason. And here is all the dat or audio files and an icon is all of the image files. Your number folder might have a different name than mine. And sometimes there's actually more than one number folder, which in that case, just pick whichever one is newest. Then once you've found your number folder, open a new file tab and make a new folder somewhere. I'm just going to do it in downloads. Name whatever you want. I'll name it voice mod port tutorial. I recommend naming it something with either a letter that's in the beginning of the alphabet or the end of the alphabet. That way it's easier to find it in the smart board. And once you have that new folder made, go back to the number folder. Inside of it, press Control a to select all sounds, then Control c to copy them all. Then back to the new folder you made, press Control v to paste them all. And once you're done with that, go back to the icon folder. And then here, do the same thing, except for do not copy them directly into here. You're going to want to create a new folder. Create a new folder that needs to be named Images Exactly. No capital letters. This exactly. And then open that folder and uh, copy all the images in there. All right. And once all this is done properly, uh, you'll have all your uh, things ready. Then in the smart board, you can go to the end of any profile. You want to scroll to the very end and click on uh, the plus, or in this case, I just have an empty profile that has one here. Uh, so then once you're in here, click the dot dot to mp3 converter slash importer, click open. Know that this tool imports all your voice mod sounds into a new profile, not the current one you have open. I know this is a bit confusing because you have to scroll to the end of a profile to access the importer, but that'll be fixed later. So for now, it's just going to create a brand new profile to import everything into. Then you're going to show it where that folder was that you just made. So I put it in my downloads folder, so I'll scroll to the very bottom because it's V. And find voice mod import tutorial, which is the one I just named it, or whatever you named it. I'll click OK. And it'll start converting all the files to MP3, then importing them, all that for you. This takes a bit, but once it's done converting all of them to MP3, it's going to ask you to name a new profile name, name whatever you want. I'm going to name it um, Voice Mod Import Tutorial. Once you give it a name, it'll process all the sounds you gave it and make a new profile and automatically load it for you once it's done. You can close this out, and you'll be done. So you'll see that uh, all of them are not named, which sucks, but the images do line up. So you can pretty easily name them. And the reason they're not named is voice mod stores their file names somewhere else, and I don't know where that is. Even if I did know, it's probably encrypted, so making a tool that decrypts the code to find the names would be against their TOU. So it's not the end of the world, you can name them easily, it's just annoying. And if you don't know how to rename them, all you have to do is click on a sound, then you'll see in the sidebar here, it'll give you the name here, you can just click on that and then change it to every one. If you experience any issues, um, double check you did everything right, you named all the folders right and that kind of stuff, or you named the one image folder right. If you're sure you did everything right and you're still experiencing issues, you can just email me with the issue and I'll help you get it fixed. You can also go into problem here and report it like this.